Just wanted to make a quick video on my current setup and some new goodies that I picked up from Paul's photo. So I currently shoot with a Sony A9 with a Sony G Master 24 70 28. Uh, pretty old, I got this back in 2017, and I am primarily a photographer. I also have a um, 82 millimeter uh, circular polarizer on the front of this, which you can kind of see it doing something there, but essentially what this does is make colors pop a little better and can cut reflections from windows, glass, that type of deal. So, yeah, so I was primarily a photographer shooting, you know, with this body which is made for photography um got it back in 2016 ish and then now i'm starting to shoot vertical photos so shooting it in this perspective so now i'm um i've got some things that will help me because I'm shooting Instagram reels, which I've only done for about 20 days now, 21 days, three weeks officially. Uh, so now I'm like learning the power of Instagram reels and the reach that it can also get. So this is a very old camera. Um, I did see a better solution at, at Paul's photo today. But anyhow, this is what I shoot with currently and um, just make with make do with what you got basically. So I so this has been shooting video, uh, vertical format video like this. So I've been trying to find better solutions to help me do that in the long run so that I won't be, you know, holding, well, just like not like for my, for I guess holding the camera in the most comfortable state. So I did, or I did have a cage on this, but it wasn't made specific to the A9. So I had, I went and exchanged it today, but I also picked up a ton of other goodies that will help me shoot a lot more efficiently and help me with my shooting process. So I'm just, um, yeah, so I picked up a blower, which this is the, the box, Imp Air Blower Red Dot Design Winner 2019. And I can see this, you can see the product here. Which helps me blow on the screen, especially since I'm shooting a lot in, on the beach and dusty environments these days. But this design also, you could see, it's basically kind of like a self-leveling design in a sense, if it's not like obstructed. So, which is nice. Twenty bucks. I think it's actually pretty worth for my shooting conditions. Also got a remote, Bluetooth remote that can Bluetooth to this camera without having to keep pressing this 
record button right here that you see because every time I do that it ends up shaking the camera uh, and just for production's sake I don't like that constantly shaky in the in the clips that I'm creating now I also picked up two batteries which are ultra ultra clutch and they haven't had any reviews on these yet so I will do a review some glasses here but the these are made by ProMaster this um series fits the Sony A9 um and uh it the reason I say these are clutch is because they're just replacement batteries but they have these USB-C charging ports that will work directly with any portable battery solution that you have that can that is USB C USB C to USB C or USB A to USB C and you can charge these on the fly without actually having a device you need to plug this battery into in order to get a charge or any, any not like it's a uh, it eliminates needing the carrier device and char you just need a battery and a charge cord and you can charge up these batteries. So I bought two of these and then, um, yeah, now I can pretty much have continuous power when I'm on the field, on the sand and shooting you know any beach volleyball i have every everything that i need that can fit right into the satchel that i carry which is a peak design bag and then i have all this essentially and then my it fits into my bag and then i um am like a mobile media center essentially so as long as I can keep this powered or this powered by having this continuous power going um, and these can just charge off a battery pack in my bag, it would be, which is awesome. Uh, yeah, so, um, and the most clutch thing that I had purchased is actually not here which is it's a cage that will go around i forgot i kind of talked this earlier about about this earlier but didn't finish but it's a cage that um will you screw into the bottom here and then gives me ability to attach new things onto my camera system and which also includes this, which allows me to shoot in this mode sideways. The cage will be, goes around the camera. And this, this room, this is a handle. So that cage, it screws into the cage like this. And then essentially gives me a handle that I can grasp while I'm shooting and give me stability. And that was like a big upgrade in terms of um, the overall quality of my video clips on how I shoot because I didn't have to hold, I didn't have to hold this camera like this the whole time and trying to, my wrist gets a lot of strain. My, my left hand also gets a lot of strain on trying to hold that lens and always constantly turning that lens and like support the weight as well. So because of all of that, I also purchased this Benro monopod. This was 75 bucks, I spent about almost 400 bucks today and I still have to buy a ball head joint which I just called and they said it cost a hundred, uh, starting $110 but it will screw on the top of this 
And the reason I want that is because if I screw the camera directly on here, the angle changes as I pivot. But if I had a ball head joint like this, whatever I move, I can actually, the camera, I can turn it so that it was it is level, if that makes sense. So the camera would essentially sit on top of where my hand is right here. And wherever I move this for support without using my own arms or my arm strength, uh, even though I am jacked as fuck, uh, this will help uh, support the weight of the camera for like those 12 hour days or whatever it is. So I expect like sitting there in the sand, roasting in the sun and holding a camera is like not uh, high on the priority of things that, you know, you want to be doing all day. So um, bought this monopod, $75 wall head joint will be like another starting 110 minus tax like not including tax and um so that's yeah it's like 100 minimum like 200 bucks after tax all in but these are like essential things that will make sh the quality of the overall clips that i post more just higher 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 quality overall so that's what i'm currently working with there is a sony system called the zv e1 system which would just be basically my dream system to shoot with i already have the glass this would be a fine, although the 24-105 F4 would be most ideal for what I'm shooting and what the conditions and what I and how I shoot. Uh, but for now, this is what my current setup is. Spent about yeah about 400 bucks on all this stuff at Paul's Photo. Thank you, Paul's Photo, and. Yeah, excited to bring you guys more content. See you guys in uh, another time.